I don't know. I just, I really feel like that this has been the best thing that I've ever done for myself. So, yay fasting. Hey everybody. So I am on day seven of a water only fast. I originally wasn't going to post anything about this experience, but after watching Brittany Taylor's video about her fast, I thought it might be helpful for other people to see that it can be beneficial to fast and that while it's not always comfortable it's not always horrible either um, my first day fasting was great I felt a beautiful sense of peace and calm the whole day and had plenty of energy um, second day I had energy in the morning and then I got really tired and was in bed the rest of the day. And I've mostly been in bed since. Um, I'm fortunate in that here at Kanakiki, I'm not only surrounded by people who have done extended water fast before, but one of the owners here has actually trained as an intern under Dr. Graham with his fasting retreats, so she's been taking good care of me. Day five and six were probably my hardest days. Definitely yesterday was the worst. I felt a lot of despair. I've had a lot of emotions come up, not all of them bad. I've also been doing a lot of thinking about my life and what brings me joy and how I want to continue inviting more bliss into my life and getting a little more clarity around how I want to do that and that's feeling really good. Um, some of the symptoms I've had are things like, well, my tongue's been really coated, as you can see. My entire mouth is actually coated. My armpits do not smell good. I have been really weak in my body. My connective tissue around my joints, especially my knees and elbows then have been really sore. That's starting to clear up now, which is cool. I had a lot of earwax at the beginning and it's starting to clear up now. Um, my eyes get strained easily. I sometimes get dehydrated. I have to be careful to drink a lot of water. My urine also smells pretty bad. My low back has also been really sore. I've had pretty debilitating headaches, both sinus headaches and headaches at the base of my skull. And I have had a little light nausea and heartburn, but it's been very, very mild. I actually expected to have more of that. So that's a small blessing. I feel really fortunate that I'm able to do this in a space that's so peaceful and beautiful. Well, I've felt really loved through this whole experience, really loved and supported. All right, I'll check in soon.
so it's day nine. Day nine. I can't believe I've made it this far. And I'm feeling so much better than I was. <clears throat> I'm still pretty weak. But a lot of my symptoms have abated. And that feels really good. Um, yesterday I even took a shower. And that felt spectacular. A couple of things that I've been noticing is that once I cross that threshold at the end of day six, I've really been feeling progressively better. And also progressively more tired. Um, I've also been having some really trippy dreams. Last night I had a weird dream that my sister and I were hanging out with Frosty the Snowman. But my face is starting to be much more normal now, much less flaky and dry. Um, my lips are still pretty dry, but they're a million times better than they were. They've been really flaky uh, and cracked. My mouth is still detoxifying, but it's much, much less. Um, my body doesn't really hurt much at all anymore. My headaches are even subsiding. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm excited to see how I feel when the fast is finished. Okay, that's my check-in for now. Hope you're having a beautiful holiday. Talk to you soon. So here we are. It's day 10. Woohoo! I'm feeling really good today, actually. And I have decided that today is going to be the last day of my fast. Um, I made the decision for um, a couple of reasons. One, I'm just feeling a little restless and ready to get back to my everyday life. Uh, and two, I feel like I got most of the big healing done that I really wanted to get done. Um, so I'm feeling really accomplished with myself. And quite proud, actually. I never thought in a million years I would be able to go for ten days without food. Um, but it's been surprisingly pleasant the past several days. And I know that my body could probably get a lot more healing done if I lasted longer on the fast, but I'm okay with, with ending it now. My primary fasting supervisor here on the farm told me that any infection in the body can be healed completely with a 10-day fast that that's how powerful the body's healing powers are when given even just that short time to devote to healing. So I'm feeling pretty good with what's happened in my body. I'm really looking forward to getting back to my daily routines, moving my body again, getting back to my yoga practice, um, and even getting back to working on the farm. I'm really missing a lot of that. I'm also interested and excited to see what changes take place in my body as I start to recover. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling excited, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for taking the journey with me. Today is the day I'm breaking my fast. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to take that first bite of watermelon. It's going to be so delicious. I got two big watermelons waiting for me. And it's so common practice 
when you're starting to reintroduce foods to start with a small amount let it digest let your body's digestive function reawaken and start to work again the digest digestive juices start producing again um, it all happens very slowly you want it to be nice and gentle so I will be posting that first bite so stay tuned okay here it is the moment of truth here is my little slice of watermelon I'm gonna take my first bite And it is bliss. I'm going to put the camera down now and finish eating this. The day's going really well. Um, I have had now four hourly feedings of small slices of watermelon. I'm feeling pretty good. I've been walking a lot and trying to get some strength back and movement back in my body. And that's really exciting. Um, I don't know, I just, I really feel like that this has been the best thing that I've ever done for myself. I feel clean and healthy and almost like I'm made of light. And uh, I'm so glad I did this. So, yay fasting.